Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's now time to go back in time. And uh, we're going to the year 2015 on this day in history, June 18, when an explosive device accidentally detonated, um, killing about 18 vigilantes and injuring about 53 others. So what happened on this day in history was that uh, a health official and vigilantes who were helping the military against Boko Ram, you know, you know, they picked up this. Uh, one of the vigilantes picked up this, you know, device, and they were taking it back to the town of Mungon in Bornu State from a military operation in Mate. And uh, a chief, you know, medical director at the Medjugorje Specialist Hospital in Bornu's capital um, said 13 people had been killed. You know, 53 um, were injured. You know, it, it was just unfortunate that it just picked up this explosive device, brought it back to Mogono, and it accidentally explo exploded, basically killing people and injuring others. And um, we know that uh, back then, 2015, it doesn't seem like such a you know, distant time, but we saw that Boko Haram and their you know, insurgency and the tactics involved you know, using bombs, detonating bombs, you know, suicide bombs as well, suicide bombers uh, to you know, inflict injury you know, on people, people, especially in marketplaces. But this one was just purely an accident, you know. They picked up this device, it accidentally detonated, and people lost their lives. That was really, 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 really sad. We'll also go back to history. Uh, in 1894, uh, the Uganda Protectorate was established and the territory was extended beyond the borders of Buganda to an area that roughly corresponds to the present day of Uganda. Let me just give you a bit of a background to that particular story right now. In the mid-1880s, the kingdom of Uganda was divided between four religious factions, adherents of Uganda's native religion, that's the Catholics, the Protestants, and the Muslims, each vying for political control. In 1888, Mwanga II was ousted in a coup led by the Muslim faction who installed Kalema as the leader. The following year, a Protestant and Catholic coalition formed to remove Kalema and return Mwanga II to power. This coalition secured an alliance with the Imperial British East Africa Company and succeeded in ousting Kalema and reinstating Mwanga in 1890. The IBEAC sent Frederick Lugan to Uganda in 1890 as its chief representative and to help maintain the peace between the competing factions. In 1891, Mwanga concluded a treaty with Lugard whereby Mwanga would place his land and tributary state under the protection of the IBEAC. In 1892, having subdued the Muslim faction, the Protestants and Catholics resumed their struggle for supremacy, which led to civil war. That same year, the British government extended their support for the IE, IBEAC to remain in Uganda. And of course, on the 18th of June, 1894, the British government declared that Uganda would come under British protection as a protectorate. So yes, um, 19... 1894, 19, 18, 19, 19, 19, mm. and that we know that uh, in 1962, mm. um, the United Kingdom granted independence to yes, Uganda. Uganda. So that's all we have for you on Today in History. Uh, we'll take a break here and return to our first major conversation of the day.